And the International Commission on Missing Persons is the only international mechanism available globally to respond to missing persons cases, whether they're missing from armed conflict, human rights abuses, disasters, human trafficking, organized violence, or migration. What we want to do in the context of the conference is really capitalize on the global changes that have taken place to address missing persons cases and now begin to finally define a future agenda. I have a vision where I'd like to see the missing become an issue just like 25 years ago HIV AIDS became an issue that was put on the world agenda. When we speak of a missing person, we mean someone being missed by others. Whether following disasters, suspected crimes, even involuntary disappearances, those left behind turn to state authorities for answers and resolution. So it was that human agony of, of those families that ICMP held out the promise of a measure of closure. The use of modern forensic methods and the creation of databases to track missing person cases has made it possible to locate and identify people with a higher level of certainty than ever before. Conflicts that took place in the former Yugoslavia during the 1990s is a case in point. It is estimated that 40,000 people went missing as a result of that armed conflict. Today, 70% of that 40,000 have been accounted for. ICMP, for its part, has made available sizable technical capacities to excavate mass graves and to scientifically identify the remains of tens of thousands of victims. The situation with identifying missing persons, following up prosecutions, is absolutely vital to help countries move on from armed conflict or periods of, of severe violence. The only way to have peace in our world is to have justice too. And if we don't find the people that were, are missing, then we are, we, we are not able, we have no possibility to live in peace.